Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Holowitz and in this tutorial we're going to continue talking about managing your email. In the last tutorial I had said to you that one of the great ways to manage your email is by creating some folders over here underneath the inbox that you can get to and I created three folders. The first one is called project, it has a zero in front of it. The second one is called important and it's got a one in front of it and then Saturday with a two in front of it. My experience has been that you can manage virtually all of your emails with very small number of folders. Now what I see quite often is I see on occasion people working with tons of folders over on the left hand side and my feeling is this. My feeling is the more folders you have the more chance there is that you can misfile something. So I believe simple is best and you're going to see some of the reasons why as we go along. First of all, I want you to draw your attention back here and I want you to observe just this area of Outlook where we see our emails. What I did is I created a bunch of emails that I had into this account and as I use, as I scroll down you're going to see there's all kinds of emails in here and I just put something in the subject so we could distinguish the, what these emails were in reference to. I didn't put anything in the body. What can be confusing is because I'm sending emails to myself it says from they all say Tony Holowitz. Up here this little paper clip would signify whether there's an attachment or not with the email and an attachment is something I haven't talked about yet but it's something I will talk about. But these headers up here if you've ever used Microsoft Excel you can sort things based on these headers. We can actually add different headers based on what's relevant and take away things that are not relevant. Also, you'll notice on these headers there's a little line right here to the left of subject. If I click on that I can drag right or left to make this bigger or wider. So I'm going to bring it into Tony Holowitz and just to get Tony Holowitz sort of out of the way I'm just going to move it in so it's a little bit you know, well let me do it just the other way. Let me make it bigger so subject really stands out. But the received I can also make this bigger. I can also click on these headings and hold and drag this over to the left or to the right and let go and move where it is. Things like the size, I don't really care about the size of the email. It's just not relevant to me. So I'm going to click on this and drag right up off the screen and let go and now I've taken that away. So typically what my experience has been is you need to see these in an order that makes sense to you but what I like to see is when the email was received. It's, if it's received on the day in question it will just show you the time suggesting that's the time of the day. For emails that are older it might say the day of that email and you can set this up different ways. But for the most part in my experience these are really the things that you're going to key in on. If I click on subject it sorts everything alphabetical order A to Z. Now keep in mind numbers come before letters. If I click on subject again what it's going to do it's going to reverse the sort order so now it all starts at the top Z to A or A to Z. I'm going to click on this again I'm going to have to sort of scroll up to the top but that's how I can work with sorting things. So the reason to me this is relevant is because as you move things around into different folders if I want to find anything related to any of these headings it's rather easy to do just by sorting them and working your way down to them. So I'm not a believer in having 20 folders. Have very few folders and know that if you put it in those folders you can go find things based on sorting and searching for things. If you do too many folders, what I call overfolderization, then it's very easy to put things in the wrong spot. So let me show you how I work with that. What I recommend is this. When you get an email that comes in and you click on it and you read it, and again I didn't put anything in the body of these emails, my experience has been typically one of three things happens. Either you need to deal with it right then and there, so you can reply to it or forward it or do whatever you need to do or you might decide you can delete it and I do recommend deleting it so what you do is just come up click on delete and now it's in the trash folder over here on the left hand side on the inbox you'll see it says the number 32 that's telling me I have 32 unread emails in my inbox 
If I double click on an email, it opens up the email so I can see it full screen. If I close it down by clicking the X in the top right hand corner, let me show you what happens. Before this said 32, but because we read that one, the bold part of it, the blue, is off. So now it went down to 31. If I click on the next one, it can assume based on how much time elapsed that you had read the previous one. So Outlook will take the things it believes you've read and keep reducing the number. So I can click on the next one and the next one and the next one and you'll see that happen and this number will go down as you go through your email. Okay. If you have an email and you want to move it to a folder, let's say this one about apples is important, and let's say maybe it's a project, well what you can do is you can click on it and you can bring it over to the project folder to look at later. Maybe this one's important, you could just drag it to the important folder. Maybe this one's something you want to do on Saturday. Now let me explain the Saturday folder to you. You can call these folders whatever you want, but anything that I get as an email that is a project that I just don't want to deal with now, I throw into the project folder. That's for me to review later. Anything that I get as an email that I'm not really sure what to do with, I think it could be relevant, I don't want to delete it. Anything in question that I just want to have a record of, I just drag it over to the important folder. Because I know typically, based on just doing this for a while, if I felt it was relevant six months ago, most likely I would have put it in the important folder. Okay. Even if I deleted it, if I don't empty the trash, it's going to still be there. Next, the Saturday folder, what I use that for is my, my business is such that I typically come into my office on Saturday mornings with a cup of coffee and go through all those emails that I didn't want to take time on during the week or be bothered by. I just didn't want them to take up any of my time during the week. So I throw them all into the Saturday folder. And the Saturday folder, even if I don't go to it on Saturday, it's just there full of things that I read when I have a few minutes or need a mental break and just want to get some things done. So I drag them all into the Saturday folder. So again, I either delete the email or I throw it into one of these three folders. But the key, in my opinion, is this. You really want to make sure that you keep your inbox clean. Because if you don't, it can get overwhelming. I see some people that never delete anything out of their inbox, and you know, I, I just feel like, what's in there that they're forgetting about? So to me, you can call these folders whatever you want, but I think truly you can get away with about three folders. Now I know some people feel strongly in other ways, but that's my opinion. Next, let's come up here to this first email. Let's say, just for the sake of our discussion, we want to take the first four or five emails and move them to a folder. Well, because I clicked on the first email, if I hold the shift key down and click on, say, the fifth one, because I held the shift key down, they all became selected. And now what I can do is I can just click and drag and put them in any folder I desire. Next, let's say we want to take random emails. Let's say, for the sake of our discussion, every other email. Well, I click on the first one. Now, on my keyboard, I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to select random emails. And now what it does is it selects random emails, and now if I click on any one of them and hold, now I can drag all those random emails over to something else. So again, you can sort things by any of these items up top, when it was received, subject, anything you want. You can also add things and take things away. Over here, this just is a flag that tells you the importance level. I never use that. I get rid of it. Ooh, I missed it. Let's go. Let's try that again. Uh, it's not letting me drag it up. I might have to move over a little bit. Ah, come on. Okay, I'm not sure why that's not letting me drag it up off there, but it isn't for some reason. But no problem. So when you're working with email, email can be a gigantic waste of time. And if you're not cautious in your approach, you can waste a ton of time on email. So I always urge people be very careful and think this through. In our next tutorial, we're going to talk about when you get an email, it might be from someone you want to keep a record of. And if you want to keep a record of that, what you're going to want to do 
is put them in your contacts. And one of the things that Outlook can do for you is keep a record of your contacts. So next, we're going to talk about starting to work with contacts and people in Microsoft Outlook. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz. Have a great day.